Captain, Zenos activity detected in the sector. Alert the Watchmaster. Prepare to deploy, kill teams. Our watch begins. How you doing guys, Big Mike Dance Girl here. Just got a quick handheld update for you. Um, for my Deathwatch September project. Um, as you can see in front of you, I am working on the two assault marines and uh, Otan Cassius and um, Gensus Natarian, is it? Um, so that's who I'm working on now, but I've gone like a day over with these guys, um, so I really desperately need to get them finished. So I can then move on to the big boys. Um, so the big boys have included the two remaining miniatures from um, Deathwatch Overkill board game. And then the Dreadnought from the Death Mask Boxer. Um, so yeah, that's what I'll be working on in the next couple of days when I eventually, like I said, get these guys finished. Um, I did these dry brushing instead of... Let's see if we can get this to focus with one hand. There we go. So I did these just dry brushing instead of edge highlighting. Um, I probably will go in with an edge highlight of Femrisian great in the future um, but just to get them at a playable standard uh, I went in with a dry brush um, let's you know I can just show you that briefly I've got to do all the golds and silvers still all the metallics um, I've gone in with a few colors so far just the brown on the pouch uh, you'll see under his under his armpit basically and it's decided to go out of focus there we go the brown on the pouch that's just a dry up bark and I've done some of the white slight for the skull on his mace there or whatever it is. Um, Croseus Arcanum it is in it. Um, and then the shoulder pad, I've done the white on there. And the blue on the shoulder pad as well. Going to go in with the corn red next on the uh, strapping on his Croseus Arcanum. I think that's what they're called, aren't they? Yeah, that's not something else I'm getting mixed up with. Um, and his book as well, going to go in with that colour. Um, and these guys, I've not really shown you these guys finished, um, but they're not quite finished. There is little bits to do on them, but more, they are definitely at a standard that I'm, I'm more than happy with. Um, the little things that I can point out straight away that I've got to finish is obviously the uh, plasma coils on the Dark Angel guy's plasma pistol. Um, not too much else really, um, just little bits. Um, like going in and redoing the lenses, uh, but they're definitely a, a, the eye lenses and stuff. They're definitely a level that I'm happy to play with, and that's what I wanted um, with this September challenge. And the bases are done. Uh, they're all slightly different shades. What I did, sprayed them with Retributor armor, um, and then I put a different shade or wash on them. And it's come out with really different effects on each, but I like it because they've all got like a metallic base. And also the game board, um, it's not got one like one shade on the on the board game. It's like it's all different shades of golds and brass and bronze and um, some steels in there and stuff as well. So um, I like the effect that it's given me. It's adding variety to the bases, but they are all tied together by the fact that the the sector imperialis bases basically, but. Um, also, they've got metallics on there that have been washed out. Um, so, yeah, there we go. I might do a showcase at what, some stage for these guys, but I'll leave it at that for now. Thanks very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the battlefield.